Hey everybody, this is going to be a reply to my last video for uh, how to make your computer faster with a clean cache. Um, because there's, you know, I should have done this a long time ago. It's been, um, I put up download links all the time, and a lot of people don't know how to use download links. Um, so, uh, with the pop up blockers and all that stuff that in the internet securities, the best way to use a download link is to right click on it. Like you see with this link here. If you click on more, that opens up the more of the description. And then if you click on this link, if you right click on it, it opens up and um, gives you more options. Whether you can open in a new window, open in a, a new tab, or save target as, or save as, depending on which browser you use. But in this particular instance, you want to use uh, the save as or save target as option and just save it directly to your C drive and that will eliminate any uh, confusion or interference or whatever then you won't have to copy and paste it later like in this in the video that this is a response to. This particular file should save it to your C drive and it's, it may not say local disk depending on the computer you have but it should say C drive. So you click on C drive leave it the name that it is and click save. Let's say you can right click on it and choose open in a new in a new window and it'll show you what's inside the bat file and what a bat file essentially is is a batch file but it's called dot bat bat but it's a batch file and a batch file contains a batch of commands and when you run that uh, as a dot bat file it'll run those commands inside that file. Now if you save it as a .text then it, it becomes a notepad file and you can just open it and read it and whatever's in it. And which is how I should have uh, set up the download as a .text and just let you change it to a .bat. But what's done is done. So um, I have tried this on Vista and it seemed to work okay. Um, I, uh, originally created it on XP, which most of my videos are featured around XP because I just don't run Vista. I've tried Vista a few different times and, well, we just won't get into that right now, but. Okay, so I hope that cleared up any uh, confusion or questions you had about, you know, the download link and, and how to go about doing that and where to save it and all that stuff, so I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.